Well, the future of vehicles without drivers in Jacksonville taking a big step this week. The Jacksonville Transportation Authority opening the Autonomous Innovation Center in downtown. Zach Wilcox has a look at what it means for public transportation and the future here in Jacksonville. One of the first things you notice at the new Autonomous Innovation Center in downtown Jacksonville are the bays that are set up on the first floor where the driverless shuttles can pull in and out of to charge up. And then over just above that on the second floor, you can see the command center that they're operating those driverless shuttles out of. And with all of this happening, that means we're getting closer and closer to the day where folks can be riding around in driverless cars in Jacksonville. In Duval, we aren't just taking the wheel, we are redesigning the road. This is how we get there. Jacksonville City Council member Rockman Johnson was one of several city leaders excited to unveil the new Autonomous Innovation Center and get a look at what's inside. The Bay Street building will eventually serve as the hub for the ultimate urban connector, a 10 mile autonomous vehicle network in and around downtown. We need to look at how we prepare this community to move in the future. The better our community moves, the greater it'll, be, it'll become. The AIC will start off serving Jacksonville, but will eventually have an even broader reach. It's the first purpose-built facility of its kind in the nation that you actually could operate other uh, autonomous vehicle systems in uh, neighboring cities and, and states. The Jacksonville Transportation Authority also unveiled the Navi vehicle, which will be used for taking people up and down Bay Street with more than a dozen stops along Bay Street and around the sports complex. JTA CEO Nat Ford says the autonomous shuttles won't cost bus drivers their jobs, but they may change what those jobs look like. We will protect the individual. It's difficult with technology to protect the type of job because robotics, artificial intelligence, and automation, it's coming. JTA is doing test drives up and down Bay Street right now with their driverless vehicles, and they're hoping to open them up to everyone at the end of June. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.